Всем привет, my name is Vika, I'm glad to see you on my channel and today we decided to film what we eat in a day. I picked meals for today that are more like a traditional uh, Russian meals <laughs> from a traditional cuisine but meals that we also eat very often and that we enjoy a lot and that are very common and popular. It's about 8 30 a.m. and we're going to have breakfast. We are a little bit sleepy and my husband say hi. Hi. <laughs> my husband is going to cook us breakfast. He cooks very seldom uh, but we have two meals that he usually prepares himself. Uh, it's blini that you could see in my Muslims video and right now we're going to cook sirniki. For sirniki the main ingredient is cottage cheese. Also we need a couple eggs, a little bit of flour and just oil for frying. Uh, Russian traditional cuisine isn't even close to something vegetarian or dairy free. We use only the yellow part <laughs> of eggs. Just a couple spoons of flour. It's a very simple recipe actually. <laughs> Then after uh, we mix everything together, we start to actually make uh, sirniki. I don't think there is only right traditional recipe for sirniki because everybody I know cooks them a little bit differently. Uh, so that's uh, how we cook them and that's just this recipe works for us. <laughs> <laughs> I always serve them with sour cream, a little bit of jam, sometimes I decorate it with frozen berries. We don't add salt and sugar to Sirniki because Agatha eats them too and I just try to reduce the amount of salt and sugar that she eats. We made this some tea for me and coffee for my husband. <coughs> I had just put Agatha to sleep and uh, I made myself some tea. I always drink uh, tea with something sweet when she sleeps during the day, so it's about 11 a.m. And I have some Russian uh, sweets here. I have this thing. Uh, it's called Tulski Prianik. Prianik means gingerbread and it looks like that. My city, my hometown Tula, is famous for producing these ones for centuries and in the past you could buy these things only in our city and nowadays you can buy them all over the country in every supermarket but anyway i love these uh, gingerbreads a lot i can't say that people eat them all the time it's more just uh, personal preference if you like them or not but i really enjoy them and also i have some sweets this may look familiar to some of you like this <laughs> and this going to drink some tea and have rest but before that i have two big announcements for you guys first of all my instagram <laughs> many of you have asked and yes i have instagram here it is uh it's been my instagram since 2013 i think i was really struggling if i should create a new one uh specifically for this channel or just share with you my uh, personal one and I decided that my personal would be better because on it you can see um, everything that you can be interested in like my pregnancy, my wedding, like my whole journey <laughs> the last several years and also you can see how I was changing uh, to minimalism more because even last year I used to do things and own things that I no longer have or do so you can see all of that and i'm going to share there my everyday life not very dedicated to themes of this channel but more just personal what we do where we go uh, just things like that so if you're interested subscribe i'll be glad to see you there 
Second big announcement is that I'm going to film a Q&A as soon as possible because there are a lot of you guys already and thank you so much for your support. You asked me a lot of questions. So please write down all the questions that you have to me in the comments section under this video and I'm going to look through them, pick the most popular and the most interesting ones. I hope that there will be enough questions for two videos actually. One uh, more personal Q&A about me, my family, uh, everything you want to know, uh, just for you to know me better. And a uh, second one about Russia because I get a lot of questions about like politics, salaries, traditions, like everything. <laughs> so I hope that there will be a lot of them and if you have questions about me about Russia just write them down in the comments and I hope to post this video very soon. So it's time for lunch now and what I'm going to cook is Grechka s Podlivkai, which basically means uh, buckwheat with uh, some meat and a sauce. And they have all the ingredients already prepared here. What I need is buckwheat obviously, <laughs> uh, an onion, a carrot, some greens and I'm going to cook it with beef and a little bit of tomato paste. Everybody cooks this meal differently so that's my way to cook it. And a little bit of flour because I forgot about it. I take one uh, cup of buckwheat, wash it properly and I take two cups of water, uh, one cup of buckwheat and two cups of water. There are also different ways to boil it. I usually heat it uh, till it boils and then turn off the heat and leave it for about 15 uh, minutes and then it's ready. spoons of flour so the sauce will be a little bit thicker and you need to do it quite fast <laughs> I think it's enough and then I add a couple cups of water a little bit of spices like pepper paprika dry Italian greens it for about 20 minutes on a small heat and then it will be ready. And Grechka also looks like it's ready. and we just put Agatha to sleep. Uh, she usually get, goes to sleep at about 6.30, 7 uh, p.m. and we don't always feel like eating so early, I mean eating dinner, so sometimes we just feed her uh, something that we already have. Uh, for example, today it was uh, the same meal that was for lunch and a couple more vegetables. And then when she goes to sleep we cook something for ourselves and just eat uh, together and today we're going to eat pelmeni, obviously. <laughs> what a video about Russian cuisine without pelmeni. At first I thought about cooking them myself, uh, like homemade pelmeni, but I never do that and most of the people that I know never do that. So I want it to be real. Everybody buys already prepared pelmeni and just boils them. So we put water on the heat and we are just waiting to eat very tasty meal. Basically it's just uh, meatballs in a dough and a little bit of sour cream, but this is how perfection looks, guys. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. We're going to enjoy our dinner. 
I hope that you liked the video and the meals. Write down in the comments if you have products in your country that I've mentioned in today's video. If you are able to cook these meals or not, uh, that would be very interesting for me. And also write down your questions for the future Q&A. Uh, I'll be really glad to read them all. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in my another video. Bye-bye.